This is my Baofeng UV5R handheld ham radio. And recently I made a video about the top five things you can listen to, listen only, with this radio. And I encourage people who watch the video to put in the comments things I missed, and they sure did. A lot of comments came in, and there were a lot of cool things that you can listen to that weren't on that list, so I'm making a follow-up. This is part two of things you can listen to with your UV5R. This should be educational. Let's get going. Today I'm in Sequoia Park in Cherokee County, Georgia. And it's a great fall day. Finally some nice fall weather, perfectly clear skies and a really comfortable temperature. I've got two quick disclaimers before I start talking about other things you can listen to with your Baofeng UV5R. Disclaimer number one is you absolutely need an amateur radio license in the United States to transmit with this radio. You can listen to whatever you want without a license, but you cannot transmit anywhere on the radio spectrum with this radio without a license. Full stop. To transmit on the 2 meter or 70 meter ham band, you need a ham radio license, and the radio is not type certified to transmit on any other frequencies outside of those ham bands. In fact, that's why the FCC has made this radio illegal to manufacture, sell, or offer to sale in the United States because it's technically capable of transmitting outside of the ham bands on frequencies where this radio is not type certified, like family radio service. Disclaimer number two, I know that there's much better radios for receiving all different types of radio signals on different parts of the RF spectrum. I know that. But the Baofeng is a very popular radio and a lot of people search for information about this radio. So I'm providing a video for what they can listen to. So first up on the list is MERS, Multi-Use Radio Service. It's essentially a non-licensed radio service. You need a type certified radio. I'll put a link to MERS radios down in the description. You can take a look at those. And it's used much like family radio service, but I guess it's more oriented to business. All I know is it has five channels and you can tune those in on the Baofeng. And they range between 151.82 to 154.6 and you can find the exact channels. I'll put a link in the description again uh, where the exact frequencies of the five MERS channels are, but you could also just put in 151.80 on your radio in frequency mode and then hit and hold the scan button, in which case it'll scan up to 155 uh, and you can see if there's any MERS traffic going on. But I suspect it'll either be chit chat or maybe some, oh, that was some MERS traffic. Next up on the list is Marine Mobile Radio. If you scan between 156 and 174, you might hear boat and ship radio traffic. Uh, Atlanta, the metro Atlanta area is pretty far away from any big bodies of water, so I haven't had any success uh, scanning those channels and hearing any boat traffic, but you might. Next up on the part two of things you can listen to with your Baofeng UV5R is railroads. Uh, railroads use radio to communicate with each other and communicate on the actual train itself. And you can tune those frequencies in and listen. If you've got train tracks near your house or you live near a train uh, depot, you could listen for that traffic. And that's gonna be on frequencies 161 to 161.450. I've listened for a little while. I haven't heard any traffic on my radio. I know there's some train tracks around, but your mileage might vary. Give it a try. Here is a frequency you definitely want programmed into your radio, and that is 145.8. And what is it? It's the downlink from the International Space Station. Now, at one time, I know all the astronauts on the space station were ham radio licensed ham radio operators. I'm not sure if that's still the case, but I know they usually always have at least a couple hams on the International Space Station. So what do they do? Well, in their free time, sometimes, fairly rarely, maybe once a month or so, uh, they'll pick up the radio and make random contacts uh, from the space station. It's super cool to hear. The other thing they do, a ham radio operator will bring his equipment to a school 
and uh, the astronauts will get on and answer questions from the kids and you'll be able to hear that traffic too. In my previous video, the top five things you can listen to with your Baofeng UV5R, APRS made the cut, automatic packet reporting system. That's packets over ham radio and they sound like this. That's an APRS packet. What I didn't mention was the International Space Station has a digipeter on it. Now, it's been on the fritz lately. Uh, it's been repeating packets sometimes and other times not. But if you tune into 145.825, uh, when the International Space Station comes over, there's a chance you could hear packets coming in. And if you have the software to decode them on your phone, tablet, or PC, you'll be able to decode those packets as well. Next up on my list of things you can listen to with your Baofeng UV5R is business radio. Now, a lot of businesses use radios. Think about it. You see them all the time, right? In stores like Walmart, uh, hotels use them to communicate. Um, all different types of businesses use radios all the time, and they're allotted a set of frequencies. And you can scan between 151.5 and 158.4. And on UHF, you can scan between 451.8 and... 469.55 so you scan those frequencies and you just might hear your local businesses or retail shops or whatever you might be able to listen in on their radio communications so in my previous video top five things you can listen to with your Baofeng UV5R I made an obvious omission and the people in the comments section definitely let me know uh, this definitely should have been on the top five list and it is NOAA weather radio in the United States, NOAA, or the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, the weather people, they put up radio towers all over the country and they broadcast 24 hours a day, local weather information and forecasts. You can listen to NOAA weather radio 24 hours a day, pretty much anywhere in the United States. And what you'll need to do is either look up on the link below, uh, specific channels for your area, or if you just want to scan, you can scan between 162.4 and 162.55, and you'll be able to hear it. And here's what it sounds like. For the Northwest Georgia listening area, this afternoon, sunny, highs in the mid 50s, all right, so that's it. I want to thank all the people who watched my previous video and made comments uh, suggesting these extra add-ons. And a lot of these are, are actually really cool to listen to. So I encourage you to program them into your Baofeng or scan uh, the frequency segments for like business radio or railroad to see what you can hear. If you enjoyed this video or if you learned something, please uh, leave a like, thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss future videos. Thanks for watching. This is K4BBL and I'm clear. In the United States, NOAA or the National Oceanat In the United States, NOAA, the National Oceanat In the United States, NOAA, the no In the United States, NOAA or the National Oce Oceanic